Good morning, Village. Happy Friday. Is your Friday food for thought? And I just posted this quote that was just, it just spoke to me this morning because I have to tell you, I'm about sick of me having to spend all this time by yourself. And I work by myself all the time and at home, but being told you have to stay does a whole different thing to your brain. And so I got up this morning and got up early, did not sleep well for a number of reasons, um, but got up early and worked out about four o'clock or five o'clock, had a great workout, burning off some of that nervous energy and then came home and just kind of, you know, it's dreary here in Texas and Houston today. And it was just kind of, eh, you know, knowing things need to get done. Like I really need to get off my rear end and make some things happen today. Um, while I have this time where there are no distractions. So I have no excuse for not getting things done. And so as the spiral started, you know, and we all get in that, especially those of us who work um, alone or have remote teams and we're really spending a lot of time by ourselves, it's easy to get in your headspace and just let that spiral start. I shoulda, I coulda, I woulda, I didn't, how come? I mean, just all that madness. And the next thing you know, you have been doing nothing for another three hours or four hours or 10 days or something crazy like that. So I just finally decided I am just sick of me and all this mess and we are gonna just do something different. So, um, you know, it is time to just say, it is what it is. This is something that is happening around us, to us, through us, over us, under us. And we do have some options. We do have choices to socially distance, to support local businesses the way we can, because this is going to be really tough for some people. And it is also, when I look back at my situation, I really have nothing to complain about. I am not having to figure out what to do with my kids. I'm not having to figure out what to do with an aging parent that's living at home. None of that stuff is happening to me. And yet I know people who are in those situations. So when I sit back, the thing that I need to do is be reaching out to them and saying, what can I do? How can I help? Can I make some calls to people and just get on the phone for an hour or 30 minutes or what have you to some folks who don't have access to community in other ways? And now with this, this technology that we have, we have plenty of opportunity to connect. It may be virtual. You may not be right with someone because we should be socially distancing, but you can at least reach out, pick up the phone, check on somebody, send a text, send a DM, something to let people know that you're thinking about them and to see what's going on. And in the meantime, try not to let yourself get into that spiral of just despair. This is hard. I am not making light of that. This is tough. These are circumstances we have not seen. And there is an opportunity for us to change our perspective. And when you change your perspective, you can change your circumstances. So what can you be doing to do something better for someone else? What can you be doing to dig deeper for yourself? And what can you be doing around self-care? For those of us who don't do that well, this is a prime opportunity to do some self-care. Take some time and just read a book. Watch a show you've been wanting to watch. Catch up with people you've been wanting to catch up to. Clean your house. Declutter. Great time to declutter. Cluttered desk, cluttered mind. So if this is a time where you can just clean out that drawer, which is what I did yesterday, clean out some drawers, sweep, clean, whatever, to get your mind moving differently, to get your body moving, because it's easy to hibernate, do that. It is Friday, and your Friday food for thought is, how can you change your mindset, do something different, and in this Women's History Month, be that woman that as soon as her feet hit the floor, the devil says, oh crap, she's up. So how are you gonna have people get ready? Get ready for everything you're willing to give, everything you're willing to serve. Do not sit in overwhelm. Don't sit in that space where you're feeling like, woe is me, or I can't do anything, or this is not what I need. Reach out to someone. And if I can serve you, reach out to me. Go to laurelrutledge.com and go to that work with me section and just pick your path and set a call. I always do that first call for free. And we just sit down and chat and see what's going on and see if it makes sense for us to work together. And if not, I know a lot of people. So I might be able to refer you to someone else that makes some sense. But do not sit trying to figure out what you're going to do next. What am I going to do about my business? What am I going to do about my employees? What am I going to do about my career or my team? I was really thinking about making a move and now with all this happening I've got to sit still well you know what you don't have to sit still you may not move but you can at least be making a plan so 
If I can help you do that, if I can help you get out of overwhelm, if I can help you get focused and move forward, it would be my pleasure to do that. So happy Friday village, get out there virtually and reach out to somebody. Go do something different, do some exercise, breathe deeply. Can't really do that in Houston today because it's raining. But if you've got sun where you are, go out and get some of that because it's really good for you. So with that, I'm going to sign off and get this rest of the party started. Um, I got lots of cleaning and decluttering to do, so I will be busy today. So let me know. Love you guys. Thank you for being a part of my village. Reach out if you need anything, laurelrutledge.com, please do. Just send me a note, comment on this live video, um, and I am there. Just reach out. Take care. Bye.